Hi there, it's the Amateur Scientist here and today in this video I'm going to show you the changes that I'm going to make in my laboratory slash workshop. I'm going to make a tool wall organizer on this wall as you can see here. And to do that I have this chipboard wood and the storeboard wall organizer but as you can see this is very small to these pieces of wood. So let's get started. So this is what I have in mind. I'm going to put it between a plug socket here and the door. As you can see there, there's the plug socket right there and there's the door right there. Also in the middle I'm going to make a very small notice board so that I see my diagrams that I do for my project videos that I will work for you. Actually I have one coming right up. I've been working all day on this project. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I'm gonna leave you a surprise. And I have funded it with a lot of money actually. I think I spent it more than 20 euros for sure on it or more even. And I'm sure that you will like it for sure. And it's completely out of my mind of what I do on my videos and project videos. So I'll leave that to you, so stay tuned and don't forget to enable the notification button. So remember that. So this is what I have in mind, as you can see there. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna get started by cutting a piece from the wood here and removing this hole as these were used in the underside of beds to keep the mattresses on. So I saw that, so I'm going to cut them with this better powered cross cut here. So let me just do that. I'm gonna put it on these crates here and make sure that where I'm going to cut, I don't cut the crates underneath. So I'm going to get a, an angle so that I make a line, a right angled line. So I'm back and I have this right angle and this permanent marker. Also, if you're using power tools, make sure to use safety. As safety is our number one priority. And I have these glasses so that they protect my eyes. As the last time I did it without glasses, I got a lot of sawdust in my eyes. And it's not very comfortable to have sawdust in your eyes. So make sure to wear them, like me. So we're going to make a right angle from where the hole is around right there. I'm going to keep a bit more so that the cross cut doesn't stop cutting from there. So yeah, like that, that we are ready. So let us start cutting. Also, if you don't, if you haven't ever used a cross cut, make sure to learn all the safety protocols that you have to do as it is a dangerous thing and you don't want to have your arms right here as you will chop them off so make sure to be learned good after you cut anything I'm gonna cut from this side so that you can see So, yeah, so we are ready from one and this is our cut wood and this is our final piece that we are going to mount on the wall. So I'm gonna put it aside and get the other one and do the same. Make a right angle and So we have our second piece of wood cut. So yeah, so I'm gonna put it with the others. And we have our scrap wood here. So let me clean up everything. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to see how I am going to put the pieces of wood onto the wall. So I make them good and see how I am going to 
mark out the small notice board that I'm going to make. So let me do that. So I'm going to need a bit of thinking here and a bit also of creativity. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to staple everything, the wood, staple it together, I'm going to staple this together. Although it's not a really nice fit, but I will staple it. Yeah, like that, so let me do that. Here I've got this nice stapler. It's actually new. So I'm going to staple around 10 staples in here so that it holds really good. Well actually I'm going to flip it upside down so that the staples aren't visible. So let's do this. I'm, I'm, I'm still going to wear the glasses as maybe a stapler will fly into my eye. You don't know, safety is our number one priority. So let's staple this. If you're doing this, make sure to hold this stapler on the ground like this so that the staple doesn't have a, doesn't stick out. Yeah, I'm gonna staple it from both sides so that it is firm and it won't fall out or anything. So let me staple it from the other side. From the other side, I'm going to staple the pieces of wood also from here, the cracks, as you can see here. And now I'm going to get some hangers and we're going to hang this. So as you can see here I've got these hangers here. You screw them onto the board and then there's a like a screw thing here. I will write what it is in here but now I can't remember it. And as you can see and it goes like this so and this is on the wall. And this just gets into it like this. So I'm going to use three of these and one here, one in the middle and one in the other side. So let me just then screw them with these screws. And that's it. So let's just do that. 
and I have my drill here. So now all we have to do now is to hang it onto the wall. But we have a bit of a problem here and there are these screws pieces that are coming out so we're going to need to file them down so I'm going to grab a file and file them down so that they are smooth. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to hang this piece of wood that we made and we staple together this and put it onto the wall there and then with a marker mark the holes here so I can drill them. So let me do that. So now I'm going to measure the diameter of this fissure here. And the diameter seems to be around eight to nine millimeters. So I will do a nine millimeter hole in there. So let me get the drill bit and the drill. So I'm going to tighten them as I can, as much as I can. Actually now I've changed plans. I'm going to make this one a notice board and here on this column here I'm going to put these store-bought hangers and put it here and hang them there. So yeah, so here on this notice board I'm going to roll on this felt here. This is green felt. So yeah, so let's do that. So now I'm going to cut it with the scissors. So I'm going to remove the adi ad the adhesive cover, which is the back side, and then we are going to 
put it over here like this. Yeah, this is gonna get very nice. So I'm going to get something to get on to and do this. Well, actually I have a better idea. I'm going to remove it from the wall and then re-put it on because I don't want to ruin the felt as it is very expensive. So as you can see here I put it on the ground and what I'm going to do next, I'm going to grab the felt like this, remove the adhesive from the back and put it on here. So yeah, so this is our final product, as you can see there, there is the notice board. The felt isn't the best, as there are still on the sides that aren't good, but as being homemade, it's good. So yeah, so that's the end of part one. Hope you liked this video. If you did, like, press the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And share with your friends. I know that they will like these types of video. So, as always... Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.